bourbon. Here at Beam, we're extracting the devil's cut, thanks to Fred, our master distiller. Now, it's not something Fred invented. It's something he remembers as a child, because everybody here in Kentucky sweated bourbon barrels. You would take that used barrel, you'd add a little water to it, put the bung or the cork back in it, set it in your yard for the summer, roll it around, agitate it, the agitation of it being moved and the heat from the summer would extract that bourbon out. At the end of the summer, you had some decent bourbon on your hands. Today at Beam, we're doing practically the same thing. It is a proprietary process, but um, we do it a lot quicker and a lot um, on a much larger scale. The bourbon that we produce is then a very woody bourbon, a very robust bourbon. So we're mingling it back into Jim Beam and we're bottling it at 90 proof. Devil's cut. Little intense on the front end. And when he said he was a, a familiar with it, I said, of course, because when it first came out, it was marketed to him gentlemen between the ages of 22 and 32. All right, so of course he knew it. Yeah? He's not there, he's not there yet? He's not there yet. Are you 21? Okay. 21. Good answer, good answer. <laughs> that was close. Just, to, just today, probably, right? Yeah, that's close. Today's his hey, birthday. whatever you yeah, do yeah. in the privacy of your home, I don't want to know. All right. So, but it is, it is, was marketed to gentlemen between the ages of 22 and 32 as a shooter. It's a great sipper, ladies and gentlemen. It's even a great mixer. So if you're drinking Jim Beam Original or the Jim Beam Black and you want to take it up a notch, the Devil's Cut is a great place. How much water did they add to the barrel? I do not know. That's a proprietary process. And they don't tell tour guides those things. What about originally, though? Oh, Back when they were doing it by hand, I'm not. Probably, you know, my family used to do it at probably no more than ten or fifteen gallons. Yeah, something like that. And then when it came out of that barrel, what proof was it? Oh, I don't know, sir. At I mean, my house, we never had a hydrometer that told us what. To do. <laughs> <laughs> just how many glasses? You we had. just said. How much you got? We just said, woo! Yeah. <laughs> All right, let me step over here and see if we're bottling bourbon this morning.